what is up guys this is Steve back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Kang OS and this has two separate builds as you can see and by the way the release is of like 1st December 2020 as you are noticing over here the build date and there are two separate versions again the vanilla build and the gapps build of course one comes without the gapps and one comes included with the gapps and I have flashed the gapps included version and if you want to flash this ROM you can check the cards over there and you can simply flash it with that way there are some notes which says firmware not included of course you have to flash firmware if you are not already on the latest firmware and you can download it from the description box below too and flash the firmware then ROM file and you can just reboot and hope you are decrypted because it says ROM is decrypted by default and the SLNX status says enforcing over here and you can go to the support group and stuff like that and here let me show you the about section quickly this is how it looks like on top we have this Kang OS logo up top and the Android version again is Android 11 as you can see and let me go back we have the security patch as latest of november 5th 2020 not quite december yet the kang os maintainer's name here is listed it says vishwas mehta so huge thanks to him for this rom here we have the stock kernel as the perf g kernel the build number again is the first december 2020 build and the kang os version says 11.2 now inside system we do not get any system updated or stuff like that this is how it looks like and i have also enabled developer options to check some things here inside gestures we have a lot of things like the swipe click screenshot so that's great you can take a screenshot just like this and you can share edit or delete the screenshot of course then we have this gesture navigation customization and here we have the gesture bar length size customization so that's great and haptic feedback also you can enable then left edge right edge customization and there is the two and three button navigations too so you can use those Inside power menu settings, we have the sensitive content and stuff. Let me go back. We have the quickly open camera option. So that is great. And the stock keyboard over here is Google keyboard or Gboard. Again, this is how the settings panel looks like. And on top, we have this customization section, which says Kangi's lab. And let me scroll down. We have the violet parts. Let me show you. Here we have the SLNX mode enforcing enabled. Then we have this enable USB fast charging. You can enable that too if you need. And we have this Mi Audio Dirac over here. So this is not in the sound settings. Inside Violet Parts, you will find the Mi Audio Dirac. Let me actually show you there is the Youth Edition and I have been using it with the Youth Edition working great without any issues. And the Mi Audio Dirac actually does work. We have also this sound preset too. Let me show you the home screen first. Here is how it looks like. As you can see, the default wallpaper looks really, really beautiful in my opinion. Let me actually show you which launcher is this. This is Pixel Launcher present by default over here. And to the left, we have this Google's Discover page as usual. And we can like swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel. And it has this rounded kind of corners then the date showing up like really in a large font looks good. I would say in my opinion, and you can scroll into this quick settings panel, which I'll show you later on. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer. The widgets are working fine here. And there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen because this is pixel launcher, but there is the double tap to sleep on the status bar that works fine. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed right now. And as you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is blazing fast. It is very, very reliable fingerprint scanner. Again, let me show you quickly. It unlocks 100% of the time without any issues. The fingerprint scanner is really, really fast. Now, in terms of the quick settings panel, again, we can scroll as you can see by doing this sideways kind of scrolling. And here we have this airplane mode location, etc. Then we can add weather, gaming macro and stuff like that. Here, I cannot find the FPS info toggle, but the screen recorder is there, which is the Android 11 screen recorder. Let me show you. I have added it already. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. You can record device audio and microphone audio at the same time too, if you are someone who needs that. So that is great that this kind of features are there. Now, let me jump into the settings here inside Kangi's lab. We have the status bar, then quick setting, etc. customization. Let me show you one by one inside status bar. We have the brightness control. And yeah, this is actually working fine. As you can see, I can swipe on the status bar just like this, just a finger swiping right here adjust the brightness so that is great that this feature is actually working fine here and we have the old mobile data icon then 4g icon data disabled icon roaming indicator etc is there then inside battery style this is really interesting that we have this big circle and big dotted circle i like these so that is why i have been using it with the big circle you can also use the big dot circle there is also the dotted circle normal circle etc icon portrait solid etc 
and here we have the battery percentage you can enable it like next to the icon or inside the icon that is great and we have the battery percentage when charging network traffic indicator is there and you can change the position of the clock i guess and am pm style you can also enable those and inside status bar items you have the headset bluetooth etc kind of icons inside quick settings we have this new tint style then vibrate on toggle touch brightness slider you can change the position of it then we have the auto brightness icon battery percentage enabling option let me go back to the buttons here we have the wake device playback control etc then visible power menu on lock screen is there and also there is the advanced restart enabling option and right now let me show you in the power menu this is how it looks like we have this like smart home kind of customization and here if you enable like if you tap on the power menu then you will get all these options and it looks really really big on the whole screen as you can see there is the power of option the normal restarting option then there is the directly rebooting option to recovery and directly rebooting option to the fast boot mode and if you scroll down we have this navigation bar tuner if you are using the navigation bar you can invert the layout of it pixel animation is there on the nav bar then toggle torch is there the like long press power button to toggle torch this works fine and also there is the volume panel changing option and you can actually change this volume panel by default it looks like this and you can expand it just like this as you can see and there is the volume steps too if you are into that let me go back to the notifications we have this notification sound if active then notification headers and show new notification on lock screen and stuff is there i guess and show on always on display then we have this light pulse color and in call vibration options are there and there is the heads up kind of customization you can disable it if you want to inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep on lock screen then the double tap to sleep on status bar both are there and charging animation does work and 18 watt fast charging again works fine here no issues music visualizer in the lock screen you can enable that and customize that too like thoroughly over here if you enable this as you can see that's great let me go back we have this lock icon then the lock screen charging info also shows up then if you scroll down we have the force fingerprint authentication this is what i like here that i can just tap the fingerprint scanner after a reboot and it unlocks the device right away so that is great we have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner inside animations we have the screen of animation and you can set it to crt or scale and then if you scroll down we have these like list view animation and stuff like that the whole ui animation is there there is also the power menu animation a lot of options are like there so yeah and there is the toast animation and stuff let me go back inside misc we have this click to take partial screenshot if you're into that and the dashboard condition and customizations now let me scroll down inside battery settings this is how it looks like this battery section looks really really good as you can see the animations and if you tap here you will see the full battery usage in terms of battery life i think it will give you seven to eight hours of screen on time without any issues and here we have the battery temperature then screen on time shows up over here there is also this battery health as you can see but it shows unavailable for both right now maybe they will fix it in the future updates here we have the adaptive battery and the battery saver mode inside display settings this is how it looks like we have the dark theme and you can customize the dark themes background i guess then we have the auto brightness and night light option and inside wallpaper of course you can choose from like these many wallpaper apps then screen timeout is there you can change that of course and in terms of rotation you have the 180 degree rotation of course then if you scroll down we have the double tap to wake and stuff oh i forgot to show you the themes so right now let me just jump into the themes here we have the font type so you have plethora of fonts as you can see and samsung one rubik lg smart gothic etc sony sketch one plus slate almost every font is there and inside of icon shapes we have these many icon shapes then status bar icon set is there you can set it to rounded or circle then we have this like quick setting header style too you can change that then switch style also you can change this is the like toggles in the settings you can change the toggle style over here so i just changed it to content or something let me just switch to default here we have the system theme you can set it to pitch black google dark or solarized dark choco x etc kind of dark themes you can choose those and you can schedule a theme right from right here and inside sound settings this is how it looks like we have the vibrate for like calls and stuff if you scroll down we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound and also there is the screenshot sound disabling option so that's great again the me sound enhancer is in the violet parts not here now inside security this is how it looks like we have the fingerprint option of course you can set up your fingerprint and also there is the face unlock so let me quickly try the face unlock now so right now let me just quickly try the face unlock and it's not quite working i guess 
I don't know why I cannot get the face unlock to be working but yeah the setup was fine the face unlock I don't know why it's not working and there is the Google Assistant if you swipe up just from the corners as you can see you can get the Google Assistant the stock camera over here is the Google camera go edition and you can change the settings if you want to but yes this is a basic camera in my opinion and also for videos and stuff this should work fine even with the front camera the videos should be working fine the wideband security shows as l1 as you can see from here so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p on this rom without any issues and in terms of the safety net test as you can see it passes right out of the box so that means you can use banking apps out of the box right after flashing the rom now talking about the ir bluster as you can see the ir bluster present on over here actually does work as you can see it is blinking right now so that means the uh, IR Bluster actually works on this ROM. Now only one thing I would say is a little bit weird that I cannot simply find an option to change the accent colors over here even inside themes if you are noticing there is no option to change the accent colors maybe I cannot find it for some reason but yeah you can change the like themes from here but no accent color changing option over here that I have been noticing. So as of right now you have to stick with I think the blue accent color over here so that's how it is even in display settings it's not there so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video about this kang os on the redmi note 7 pro share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about this particular rom i would say this is a great like rom actually and the next updates will be even like more better give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now